Hello YouTube, Sam here from youtube.com slash onlivegamer for the new Boston and in this tutorial we're going to be working more on the card program. Now if you don't know what this is and this code isn't familiar to you, you might want to move back to the beginning of the program. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's come down here and we'll go ahead and minimize our sports car class. So we'll just comment it sports car and then we'll call it class. Okay, so now let's make a truck class. So we're going to go ahead and define our class. So we'll just call it truck and we'll add car uh, to simplify it so we know uh, that it inherits from the car class. So to make it inherit all this stuff that the car class has, we just want to type inherits car. So now everything car has, we can use. And now let's add some stuff in here um, to that's specific to a truck. So let's go ahead and create an enumeration. So private enum, and then we'll just do bed length for the length of the truck bed as, let's do integer. So we need to fill this with some values. So we'll set short equal to zero. So if they have a short bed, it's going to be equal to zero. And we need to do short bed because short is a keyword in Visual Basic and it doesn't like it when we use that. So we'll do um, medium bed equals one and long bed equals two. So now that we have our bed length, enum bed length enumeration, let's go ahead and make a uh, cab size enumeration. So we'll just go ahead and comment this. So we got short medium and long and they'll do cab length enumeration okay so we'll start off by declaring this private so private enum and we'll do cab length as and we'll do it of type integer again and we will set single equal to zero and it looks like we are getting an error again because single is a keyword too. Uh, we'll do extended cab and let's just do one more. So let's do something like uh, what a Tundra would have, a crew max. So we've got single, ca single cab, uh, extended cab, and crew max. So now what we need to do is create a variable or two variables that will store uh, values from these enumerations. So we'll just type private uh, truck bed length and then we'll do it of type bed length so as bed length and then we'll go ahead and do uh, the cab length so private truck cab length as cab length okay so now we've got uh, two data types of our enumerations that are going to store some information about our truck so what we need to do is create some properties that will, allow, that will allow us to get these and set these. So we'll just type public property and then we'll do, let's go ahead and call it the bed length. So, and then we want it to be of type bed length. Okay, so now what we need to do is we need to add some parentheses right here. We'll type get and it'll fill in the rest of it for us. So what do we want to get? We need to go ahead and return truck bed length. So whenever they access this property, it's going to give them back uh, the bed length. So what are we going to do to set it? We're going to type if value is greater than or equal to zero and value is less than or equal to two then go ahead and set it, the bed length to that so we'll type truck bed length equals value okay so if you remember before I paused this right here we were getting an error right here under bed length now this was causing some problems with uh, being able to access that enumeration 
uh, because of the inheritance and some other stuff that I'm not going to go into right now. But what we need to do to, to fix this is we'll just go ahead and take our enumerations and we're just going to take them out of our truck class and we will put them in the namespace itself. So now that it's in the namespace, we're getting another error. So what we need to do to just get rid of that error is take out the private keyword because this isn't inside of any class. So we have our enumer enumeration cab length and our enumeration bed length. So now uh, this will work as we intended it to. So we'll just type get and set the bed length. So now we're going to need to do this again for the cab length. So get and set truck cab length. So we'll type public property the cab length and what we're going to need to do is set it of type cab length. So the reason we made uh, these enumerations is to keep out certain values and make it easier to use our code. So when we type in get here it's going to fill in the rest for us. So to get it all we have to do is return truck cab length. And to set it, once again, we're going to use an if statement to see if it is a valid number. So we'll just type if value is greater than or equal to zero and value is less than or equal to two, then go ahead and set the, uh, the cab length. So truck cab length is going to be equal to value. 